This is one of the few times we've been on the road where I can really say, right now, I am stressed. This whole situation of trying to sell the RV and find something else is just overwhelmingly frustrating right now. Um, you know, we can't decide whether we need to sell this RV now, move into my mom's house, uh, and then buy the next RV and move everything back in, or do we buy the RV, move into that? It's back and forth. We don't know where we're going to be. We've been street camping in front of my mom's house for two weeks, and mom, I love you, but we need to get back on the road. We need to travel. And right now, I really feel like we're stuck. And I don't mean stuck with my mom, I mean stuck in this situation because of all the different circumstances and trying to sell an RV like this. We just can't drive around the country boondocking and staying at RV camps and everything else while we're trying to sell this and you know, tell someone in Florida, hey, we'll be in Arizona next week and you know Utah the week following. So wherever you can catch up with us, that's where the RV will be. It doesn't really work. We kind of need to be in one spot in order to sell this thing. And that is what's driving me nuts. And tomorrow we've decided that we need to get out and really start moving again. We're still going to keep the for sale signs up on this and everything. But you know we're going to start bouncing around California a bit more traveling. Now the biggest bit of frustration for me is really the feeling of homelessness that I'm getting. When we were selling our home, we moved from our home into this and we were able to park this in our driveway. So the transition was really easy. We didn't have to move everything at once. We could take it slowly. We knew what we needed to bring. Um, but right now it's like, we don't know what we can fit in the next RV because we don't even know what we're getting next. If we sell this next week, how long is it gonna take us to get our next RV? Some of the ones we've been looking at, you know, it takes six months to a year if you order it. And I don't wanna be without an RV for a year. Um, I don't wanna rent a house or something, so do we rent an RV? Uh, do we buy a cheap trailer to tow behind the Jeep and just go tent camping around California or something like that? You know, I know it sounds exciting that there are all these different options and these things we can do, but that's the frustrating part. Even though I'm traveling or we're traveling across the country, I still need to feel like I have a base. And no matter where we are, the RV is home. That's our base. That's where my bed is and all our toiletries and everything else. Without that, I'm getting the feeling of homelessness. I don't have a place. Um, I'm going to be squatting at other people's homes or living out of a tent or a hotel or an Airbnb, all these different things. And that's not really what I'm looking for. We did this so we could bring our house with us. You know, we didn't realize that this transition would be so difficult to find that next RV and move into it. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe we should look at buying the next RV while we still have this. So we can slowly move things over, go through that process. And I know it's going to be difficult to have, um, you know, a class B or a trailer or something along with this, plus the Jeep and have to juggle all three of those things with just the two of us. But I think it's going to make our life easier. I don't know. For you other full timers out there, I'd love to hear how you solve this problem. I've seen some people who you know, they trade in one coach for another one. They pull the two up together at the RV dealership and start shuttling everything between the two RVs. But if you want to sell the RV on your own, you still don't know what you're getting. How do you deal with that? I mean, we're full-time RVers. We don't have a house. We don't have a place we could really park this. We got to figure out what we're doing next and what that next RV is before we get rid of this thing. I think it was a bit premature of us to think we could sell this and then go RV shopping. Um, and I think at least for myself, I've realized that time span between when this is gone and when we get the next thing is going to be really difficult for us. We are zeroing in on camper vans, but we are considering lightweight towables that we can tow behind the Jeep. So next week we're going up to Lance's factory. We're going to take a look around. I believe they produce two or three trailers that we can actually tow with the Jeep. Uh, so that might be an option for us. Um, you know, there are some other things that we've been looking at. There's some adventure vehicles out there. There are class C's and, you know, B pluses. But I think right now our focus is on the B. We want to make sure we check out all of our options before we make a final decision on this. Don't get me wrong. We're not reconsidering our decision to downsize. The stress and the frustration is coming from all the logistics that are required in order to sell this 
find the other RV. Um, we're gonna have to get this sold, get that money in our pocket before we can find something else. So it's all of those logistical items, timing, the fact that we haven't been able to travel, that's really adding to our stress and making this much more difficult than we initially thought it would be. You know, I'm just, I'm really rambling at this point because all the frustration is just coming out of me. Thank you so much for listening to me vent. I had to get that out, really appreciate it. So thanks guys, see you later.